Oh, I don't want to choose anything weird. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be super fun. And if you don't think it's fun, I will have my watch cat attack you. That's not a threat, it's a promise, okay? He's rabid. So anyway, today I'm going to be picking out random makeup products from my makeup drawers. And I'm going to be reviewing them at random. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna pick out. I'm gonna put a blindfold on because that's how dramatic that this video needs to be. I'm just gonna pick out 10 things out of t all 10 of my drawers and then just give you my review. This should hopefully be a helpful video because with all those other challenge, stupid challenge videos, it's like, okay, I wasn't gonna put peanut butter on my face anyway. Somebody in my comments commented this idea. They said, oh, you should just pick out like a few products and review them at random. And I was like, oh, good idea. So anyway, I'm stealing that. But yeah, let's just get into it. I have a blindfold right here that is a very extra. Okay, I know I look so stupid right now. <laughs> literally, if I never saw myself like look like this again, I would be happy. Let's start with this drawer, shall we? I'm just literally gonna go down. This is a hair drawer. If I can get the drawers open, that'd be great. I don't know, like, I don't think you guys probably won't. But, all right, I'll review a hair product. I'll review one, okay? Blindfold on, okay? Okay. This right here is the drawer that I literally use for, like, everything. So, and I kind of already know, like, what, like, I would know what it, I'm picking up. Oh, uh, I don't want to choose anything weird. Okay. Product number one. Oh, this is like my, uh, I don't really want to pick anything from this drawer, but okay. Okay. Hair drawer. I feel like the, like, stuff I never use is in the back, so. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. These drawers, I picked something out of here. Okay, next set of drawers. I literally know everything in this drawer, so this is like kind of weird. Okay, we're back. So yeah, this, these are not meant to be worn with makeup. <laughs> it literally squished my eyelashes down and I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? I'm trying to think of what, oh, okay. This was the first thing I pulled out. First thing is this NYX glitter. I'm not surprised that this is the first thing that came out. This is in Dubai bronze. I am wearing a NYX glitter, which is kind of funny because I really did not plan that at all. And there's literally a million brands of glitters in there. So it's just funny that I picked out a NYX one, but NYX glitters, I, love i don't love all of them just because like over preference but like overall they're a great cut they're a great price and they work really well i love using the nyx glitter glue with these the one that i'm wearing is in the shade copper you need the shade copper from nyx for fall um, it's just like a really nice bronzy brownish gold i guess like pr like really on the far side of brown really warm the packaging is a little deceiving it's actually a little darker than what it looks like i just love all their shades you know glitter can go one or two ways you can look like so trashy or you can look amazing so <laughs> That's, I love these. This clink came out of the second drawer, which is funny because it's a makeup product and that was my skincare drawer. But this is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. First of all, I am doing a best and worst of Glossier makeup pretty soon. Not doing skincare, just the makeup part. I'm just waiting for one order to come in, but this is a decent product. It's not something that I'm like, wow, you know what I mean? But it is on par with the rest of Glossier products. So what I mean by that, very natural. It's definitely not going to cover dark under eye circles. It doesn't really brighten that much and it's not gonna cover like really intense cystic acne that's like popping out of the surface. What I like to do if I'm wearing absolutely no makeup at all, usually I'll have like a lot of redness right here that I just don't wanna cover up. But if I'm like running out somewhere and I wanna look presentable with no makeup on, I'll just swipe it across. Sometimes I do it on my cheeks because I have a lot of like rosacea over here. It's good for that. It's good for just like a quick touch up. This is the opposite of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I like Glossier products because they have a very 
specific goal, a specific purpose. You know what they're out to do. You are not surprised every time you get them. It's a light coverage. I like them. I really, I really like them. I'm not sad that I have it, if that's what you're asking. Are you asking that? Next out of my hair drawer, this was the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Actually cleans hair. Until I just saw that on camera, I had actually never seen that. It says, actually cleans hair. <laughs> Eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. It's pretty good. I, I wouldn't say it really changed my life at all. If you know what I mean? I'm still searching for that dry shampoo that actually gets rid of all the oil in my hair. I have the oiliest hair that is so hard to come back from. Like, I can rarely do second day hair, rarely. It is like something that just does not happen for me. If you're comparing it to like Batiste, which is I think the best drugstore uh, dry shampoo, and that one is much cheaper than this one is, I'm pretty sure, because this is like the travel size or whatever. I would probably just buy Batiste again. Do I think I'd purchase this again? Probably not. Like if it came in like a Sephora favorite set, I'd probably be like, oh yay, that's in there. But I'm like not sold on it, you know what I mean? Because I'm still having those days. I'm still waiting for that that number one thing, you know what I mean? So, it's not like, none of them are a holy grail. I don't have a single holy grail dry shampoo, and if your hair is as light as mine, especially the time when my rootage gets a little dark, it's tough out here for us, okay? Hmm, interesting. So this is Gerard Cosmetics, um, and this is in Red Brick Road. Love like the frosted packaging of this. You can see what color it is. Um, I mean, a lot of liquid lipsticks have that same thing. I like these a lot. I think there's a good color selection. It dries matte like any other formula would. I think that they're at a good price point also. My favorite one is in the shade Skinny Dip. It's a really nice nude. They have a lot of fall colors. So regular bullet lipsticks, like there was a 1995 one that I really liked. There was like a Rodeo Drive one that I really liked. So they have a really good nude called Buttercup that I really liked. It was back when Jaclyn Hill used to like talk about them a lot, so I bought them, but they were really good fall shades for whatever reason. So anyway, they have a good color selection. There's not like, you know, I don't think you'll be disappointed in any one that you buy. I don't think you'd be disappointed in the formula. They're called Hydra Mats. You know, they dry down totally matte, but they're not like so dry. Like they're not so dry. They're pretty good. So, um, yeah. Okay, so last. So the last straw that I, I picked out of the top part of my vanity because um, my bottom drawer is like nail stuff and I just, I didn't want to go through it. It literally smells like um, monomer. Whenever I open it up, it's just like so gross. But um, this is the product I picked. It's the Skinny Dip Lip Topper. Okay, so I gotta be honest about this one. I bought it because some YouTuber, sometime, some way, somewhere, was talking about it and I was like, oh, like I really want that. I liked, I was like, oh, lip topper. It was back when lip topper was like a new term to the beauty community. And I was like, oh, lip topper, yeah, like lip topper. I like that, and but it's like it's just I mean, lip gloss, like you know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't, it what the f is a lip topper? It's a lip gloss. You know what? This is just not my favorite shade ever. Like I don't wear a lot of gold lips. Like I don't really want my lips to look gold. I don't know. It pulls my lips too warm. So I guess I could. Let me try to put a little bit on here. These do smell like cake, though. So these do smell like cake batter and I don't know, I don't love them to be honest with you. I think that they're pretty overpriced. There's this like weird strange locking mechanism where you could like move it into something. I think that they have like a lot of interlocking parts with their makeup line which is like, I don't know, kind of gimmicky. I don't like the packaging, it's so sharp, like it honestly hurts when you try to like go and open it. It kind of hurts, like I'm, that's so dramatic and like something that nobody probably would ever say. but. I don't know. I don't, I don't I don't love it. I think that it looks kind of nice when you're like, "Oh, you know." But I like when the glitter is a little bit chunkier but but more evenly dispersed or like there's less of it. Do you know what I'm saying? So like I love a lip gloss. Let me show you actually. Do you see that versus this? This is Dominique from Buxom, which is actually supposed to be a clear lip gloss, but the the glitter is a lot more noticeable. It's chunkier. It's but it's also dispersed more evenly. This is just packed with just, and it just gives you like a metallic look that I'm just not looking for. So would I recommend those to people? No. Would I ever put that in a favorite studio? Probably never. No, not for me, dog. It doesn't look bad though on my lips, but it's just like, you know. Next product. So this is the number seven blush in peach velvet. Uh, I actually reached for this today and I used this today. 
thoughts. I love this. I love blushes that are this color. This like peachy color. They go with anything. They look good in the summer. They look good in the winter. They look good in the fall. They look good in the spring. Very universal shades. Like I don't know. It's just like a purple blush you wouldn't wear outside of winter or fall. So um, it's different things like that. It's just like I feel like this always looks good. It always gives you a healthy look. Um, especially just I don't know for me like personally for me I love it I like that it's matte because then I can choose to do a little bit of shimmer if I want to I kind of like when blushes are just matte um, not to say that I don't like blushes that aren't matte but I just I like having that option of like oh I could put like a highlighter over it and then it could be more glowy or I could keep everything matte you know what I mean but these are at the drugstore you can find it at Walgreens Ulta pretty good size too and this is the one that I would definitely recommend from them so really good so next, I pulled this one out of my palette drawer. So I keep all my palettes that I use frequently in a big, like one drawer, and then I leave like a bunch of other stuff. Like I'm getting to a palette in a second that I don't really use. So, um, and I'm actually glad I picked because I wanted to talk about that one. But anyway, so you guys have seen me do a review on this. I love to wear this, but I still feel like this shade right here, Drizzle, is just not dark enough. But every other shade in here is really good. I did one of my favorite looks I've ever done the other, like in a one video where I was like holy shit I looked at my makeup I'm like holy shit I look fucking good it blends out really well the mattes blend out really well they go all together like it's all curated together I use this shade on my lid which I love it's gritty when you pick it up because there's a lot of glitter in it but it's all it's not like just an overspray of glitter it's actually inside of the shade so it's, I think that this these two shades are like that too but it's sweet because you have like this really shimmery impactful lid which you don't always get in palettes so I love this love the mirror love the packaging anyway that palette's really good let's see what was next oh this was ew okay whenever you guys see I don't know if any of you guys have noticed but there's a lot of these stickers on my stuff and it's because it, you get that and like it's marked that you got it in Sephora gratis so like this is when I see stuff like this I'm like oh shit, that products like three years old <laughs> like it's old um I still use it though. I'm like, you know what? What's the? Is there really a shelf life on this stuff? It's not like f***ing food or I, I don't know. It's just like I'm gonna use this stuff till the day I die, literally. Um, so this is like so gross. I literally, oh my god. Let's just put that right back on so you don't have to see what that is. Oh my god, I remember so vividly. Jarvis and I, we were dating for only like probably three or four months, and then we decided we wanted to go to Arizona together. Because my grandparents have a house out there, so they like let us stay at their house because they they had two houses at the time and they stayed at their other one and like we got to go by ourselves to their house and it was like the best time ever because, um, because we were you know we were like just dating we're like ooh we get to stay by ourselves and go grocery shopping together you know it's like now we're like oh we have to go grocery shopping together you know what I mean no I'm kidding we anyway I remember using this I use this literally every single day I wore this to the pool like I would put it on. And I would just like, I, myself, my body was so self tanned. So I would literally put this on and just like with a brush and it just go. And it was so awesome because it had it has SPF 15 in it and it just matched my skin and it looked so good. And it just like covered up any imperfections, but it gave me a really nice base. And you know, at the time when you start dating somebody, you like want to look good all the time. Like I remember so vividly, I used to be so uptight about bringing makeup in my purse because I didn't want Jarvis to see me without makeup on or like I wanted to like always look good like oh, like I woke up like that which I never have woken up like that I use this so much and every vacation since then I literally bring this with me and I'm just like it's the perfect thing to like wear to the pool or wear out or whatever and just look a little bit better um, it's got a pretty decent coverage on it it's like light to medium probably more it's like this is like the definition of a medium coverage and oh, it's SPF 20. Oh, never mind. Broad spectrum SPF 20. Oops, sorry. Not 15. It's SPF 20. I'm so stupid. Where did I read 15? Next, this is the Hard Candy Metal Glaze 12 Hour Intense Liquid Foil. So, this is in the shade Rose Gold. And this is a very good indication of what the state of the drawer that it came out of is. Because this is so random. And the drawer that I picked this out of is so messy, so random. It's literally just all stuff laying it out. Oh, I need to organize it. But anyway, this is something I bought when I did my Stranded at Walmart video, which was one of my favorite videos I've ever done. And of course, it got zero views because nobody wants to click on a wholesome video these days. It's like, geez. Um, not complaining, though. I bought this because I was like, oh, hard candy. Like, I never use hard candy, right? 
So you might be thinking, oh, that looks pretty good. And like in the package, it looks pretty good. It's got kind of like a smoked out, like ill maquillage, smoked out look to it. If you covered up the hard candy, you'd be like, oh, that's like kind of expensive looking. But hard candy and me do not, we are not on the same page. Like we're not even in the same universe. I swear to God. Like I don't think there's one hard candy product that like I like. Like I, you know those, those brands were like, oh hell yeah. Like this product works for me. It was made for me. Like, oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. This is not that, like hard candy was not made for me. Not made for me. Nothing works. Nothing. Nothing works from hard candy. I have not liked one product from hard candy. I honestly bought this and I was like, oh, you know, I wanted it to be like the steel of glitters kind of. I mean, it's pretty when you see it. I pr I'm sure it's fine, but I just don't like hard candy. I don't like hard candy. I've been trying to give them a, like a chance and I'm like, sometimes I'm like, wait, why is that so expensive? Like literally like setting spray for hard candy, $8 or something, $9. I'm like, wait, what 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 world am I in? Like what what year is it? L last, my tenth product that I am reviewing is this just mishmash of shades. Okay, and I want to talk about these. This is what I want to talk about. I'm not talking about the other shades. Don't care about the other shades. We can talk about those on another day. I want to talk about these. So. These are from Glitter Injections, right? I know what you're probably thinking, that looks fucking amazing. And if you could create your own palette, wouldn't you want a glitter shade like this that doesn't need a primer, doesn't need anything else. You can literally put it in, create your perfect palette with glitter in it. That's my perfect world. And that's why I bought probably six of these, right? Probably six of these to create my own mega palette, right? These are, first of all, don't buy one, don't buy six of these at once. Buy one, see if you like it, then go on to the next one. I didn't realize that I hated these. These are so greasy, they transfer up onto your lip. This is coming from the person that knows glitter, okay? If there's one thing I know in this world, it's glitter. These are greasy. It's glitter particles swimming around in Vaseline and just slip sliding all over like it's magic waters in your fucking eye, okay? Huh? I'm so disappointed in these. These literally go everywhere. They transfer up onto the top of your Z palette, your palette, whatever you put them in. It's like, oh, thanks a lot. Like, ugh, I hate these. Like, I literally hate these. They're so nasty. If I touch it, it's just gonna be like, ew. You're gonna be like, oh wow, great swatch. I know you are. You're like, oh cool, good swatch, right? No. See that? Do you see that, you guys? How like it just breaks apart and just slip slides around. I'm so glad I picked that palette out at random, no joke, because I wanted to talk about that so bad. It's been eating me away. Like I've been like, I need to talk about these glitter injections before it's too late. Greasy, it's Greasy Grove. Fortnite would not recommend so glad I got that off my chest and you know I wouldn't have been able to do it without this random review section so kind of cool to look back in time and be like oh I can review stuff that I've had for so long for me it was like oh this the time had passed so now I shouldn't talk about it anymore because it's not really like these aren't popular products anymore you know it just proves that you can still talk about this stuff there's stuff that's been out that's so good um, and there's stuff that's been out that's so bad, but like not a lot of people talk about it or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoy this random review. Really fun to do. Definitely encourage anybody else that has a YouTube channel if you want to try it yourself or if you want to start your YouTube channel and this is your very first video that you want to do. I love like these types of videos, just reviewing products, shooting the sh doing what we do. Okay. So anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great one. Bye.